in, in city rivalry is just it's really important and it's cool to play against people from the city and so the schedule of, of us against Northwestern us against Loyola and Loyola you know it's just a it's always big and it's important and so it, it was this is Northwestern week our men play Northwestern on Saturday we get to play Northwestern today I think they're games that should be played and, and we're excited about playing them and um, our players really came out and we're ready to play tonight and and so I'm just impressed with the way that our players have started to we're starting to grow and, and come together and, and, and figure some things out together. So I just am I'm, I'm really happy for our players that they were ready to play when the game started because this is a team that, again, just played in Maryland on Sunday. And Maryland, it was a, half, a, a push game at halftime. And, and they've played a really rugged, tough schedule, non-conference schedule. So I, I, I really know that this is a team that is capable if you're not ready to play. So it's always about the players, and they were really ready to play. Question for both players. Are you able to talk about what happened there in the opening minutes in the first quarter? It just seemed like, from my perspective, that was the best first quarter you folks have played here anyway. Yeah, um, so we always emphasize getting off to a quick and efficient start. Um, like Coach said, you know, the uh, rivalry, we were pumped up, we were amped up for this game. Um, so I think it was just hitting the right people at the right time, having the energy on the defensive end, um, and just coming in ready to get business done. Yeah, just to piggyback off of that, I would say we are trying to make it a focus to forge our identity and uh, impose that in every single game. So I think that we were successful in doing that today. And to what Coach said in the opening statement, are you able to talk about the closeness of this team? It seems to me like you all have such a great time out there. Yeah, definitely. We're super close on and off the court. Uh, no matter what, we have each other's back. And I think at the end of the, at the, end of the day, um, just having fun with one another is going to bring the best out of everyone, um, and that's what we do every day. We compete. We want everyone to do the best that they can um, and push everyone the best that they can, um, and, and that's what's going to make it fun and make us compete with anyone out there. Michelle, hit it on the head. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Coach, more of a general question. What are you most proud of with this team? Because like Jim said, they seem to be clicking and coming together. So from your perspective, what are you most proud of? It, it, they're just a great group of players. They're just a great group of people to be around every day. So you just, um, they're just a, a joy to coach. And at the same time, you know, it's still about getting the product right. And we have to get better at every, at many fundamental functions of the game. So, yeah, they're just coachable. They allow themselves to be coached. And so that's really what, and they're and just being good people. So it's just, it's just fun to be around them every single day for sure. You know, we still have a lot of work to do. And, um, you know, it's just it, you can't rest, and and they're, they're, you know, I keep forgetting, and I have to remind ourselves as a staff, we remind ourselves, this is a group of eight. You know, we only have two people here. I mean, returning to this game, or six points for us and 38 points for them from last year's game. All right, so Jory had five, and I think Anae had one. So we have two people here that have returned. All right, there's three freshmen, or three people that were here last year, but they couldn't play. So we have to keep reminding ourselves that even though there are older people age-wise, this is still a really new group together. And that, that's the part that we as coaches have to keep reminding ourselves because this isn't going to, you know, sometimes I, I, I approach them as they're all 23-year-olds and half of them are, but that doesn't mean they've been with us when they're 18, 19, 20. So that, that, I'm just proud of the fact that they're starting to figure out it's just taking a little longer. It's going to take a little longer. I think the schedule we've played, again, it was a tough defeat we took at Miami. We were getting down. We played a really kind of an ugly first half offensively. Then we really put the offense together in the second half and recovered a 19-point deficit and put, came up one and then just 
We made a couple mistakes down the stretch to, to, to cost us a 75-70 game against an Elite Eight team. Okay, it's a new year, but the, that, that Miami team went to the Elite Eight a year ago. So I just I just think it's a group that's it, that's coming together, and, and we can't take anything for granted now as we come down the, the holiday stretch here, get them home for a break, and then get them back and get them back ready to – Get into the you know end the non conference and get into the Big East and the Big East is you know Georgetown went into uh, Evanston and beat this team pretty much you know pretty handily too so that we, we've got a lot on our plate don't don't forget about Xavier we have to go to Xavier and open the Big East on the road next week so you know we we've we've got to keep getting better every day and they're a group that accepts that and wants to get better every day when you ask what enjoyable about them. But if you're able to put tonight's game in a vacuum, what were you most satisfied with about the team? You know, I, I probably just uh, the 27 assists on 36 baskets is, I mean, the sharing factor is, is really what we try to be about. And, and you know, that's something that's um, important. And you asked the question about the beginning of the game. There was some ball movement and some sharing that, that took place. So if there's one single thing you'd like to point to, it's the 27 assists on 36 baskets. All right, thanks, everybody. We'll, we'll see you on Sunday. Getting ready for Alabama State. Thanks, everybody. Go see Saturday, Northwestern. Men, DePaul, right here at DePaul, Northwestern. Let's go get them. Thank you.